Okay, so right here, I don't really show it because of the camera. Uh, I didn't move my camera, but I wiggled it in right there where I'm pointing at. So I'm just kind of showing y'all what I did. You don't need to take the wheel bearing off at all. You gotta play with it a little bit in that spot that I'm showing you right now. Play with it a little bit, it'll go right in there. All right, y'all, man, it took, it probably took me an hour to do this for no reason. When at the end you saw me, all I did was use this, put my um, my plate back on there, or my rotor back on there, and just squeeze it in with this, with just a couple tries. I did, I did it earlier, but I didn't want to mess it up. But I did it this way, I had my screw put in this way, so I was actually cutting into it, but I did it this way, and it came out it came all the way in within a couple seconds. So really a 15 minute job turned into an hour drive for no reason. I tried to take off the plate. I'm not gonna give y'all the edits of that video, but I tried to take off the, 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 uh, the uh, I'm sorry, not the plate. I'm trying to take off the wheel bearing and that one working. I tried to pull it out with the hammer and everything. That's the one coming out. I was just like, F it. So I just did it that way. And that took about a couple spins. I just used this. You can use the, uh, the 22 millimeter or you can use that but it's in there it is slightly shorter than the rest if i'm not tripping if y'all can y'all might not be able to tell but it's very it's slightly slightly shorter than the rest like very slightly shorter but other than that it's all the way in it's not poking out anymore as you see other than that that's gonna make it a wrap for the video let's put this tire back on